For my final thought, now on April 8th, the Metro PCS store on the corner of 7th and Florida Avenue Northwest was forced to stop playing go go as a result of a complaint to their corporate offices. Now the complaint was reportedly lodged by a resident of the Shea, a nearby luxury mixed use development. This bothered longtime residents of the city. That particular store has been playing go go on its speakers for decades, which made the grievance feel like outsiders were attacking the very fabric of DC culture. Online, the protest hashtag don't mute DC picked up steam. Offline, a series of block parties along the U Street corridor featuring performances from go go bands brought together thousands of supporters. Now, Metro PC has quickly reversed its decision, and the music is playing again. On the heels of that win, Don't Mute DC has continued to move forward to protect the city's cultural heritage from being swept away thanks to DC's rapid gentrification. Another massive block party was held yesterday evening on the corner of 14th and U Street Northwest outside the Reeves Center. Now this was in response to more recent incidents of cultural disrespect, like the residents of the Bloomingdale neighborhood using Howard University's campus as a dog park. At a time where it feels like traditional spaces are under attack by new residents of the city, I commend folks for addressing the problem in such a creative, beautiful, and peaceful manner. Don't Mute DC is making a statement that original DC is still here and won't be ignored. At the same time, this statement is being made in the form of a party where old and new DC can come together and get to know each other as opposed to harboring resentment. Now, it's going to take more than parties to solve all the city's differences. But this is a very promising start. I'm proud of us. And I'm going to be proud of us tonight. Go Caps!